for the last uh, neat ss i prepared for 20 days before the exam sir i subscribed to speed app i went only through the videos and uh, special thanks to the speed team uh, whenever i had any issue with the mcq or something they would always respond to me i bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members and team of speed to dr madam shravya for scoring rank number 3 uh, in neat ss 2024 exam in the speciality of mch obg group congratulations to you, doctor Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Great. Great to have you in the session today. And thanks for your time to share your experiences with us. Thank you, sir. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay. Yeah. And can we know your detailed background history from where you started till date? What all you have accomplished? Yes, sir. I did my MBBS from Kamineni Institute of Medical Sciences, Narket Palli. I did my post-graduation from Osmania Medical College, Hyderabad. I did my uh, senior residency from the same institute, sir. Later, I started working in a corporate hospital. That's it, sir. Okay, great. Now, your specialty of choice is uh, MCH gynecology. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes. So, sir. when did you got that uh, kind of a thought process that you want to do a, a super specialty or MCH? I mean, is there any specific point that somebody inspired you? You got into that that I want to do it. Can you share something on that? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, initially, during my internship, uh, uh, after my MBBS. I was more interested in gynecology parts. That's how I chose uh, MSOBG as my branch. Uh, later, during my PG ship, all the cancer-related cases were referred, sir. And that's when I felt that there was a lacune. So, and later, I, I attended so many uh, workshops in oncology. So, I gathered uh, interest from there, sir. So, so you are, you are mean, I have exposed to cases and also you have been into that kind of speciality that... Gave you an influence that to do that, right? Once you decided to do uh, oncology, gynec oncology, MCH, then from that point of time till today, I mean, I mean, you have got the topmost rank in the country of rank number three. I mean, what all you did? What was your preparation strategy? What are the time that you're given for this? I mean, what all you underwent to be a successful person today? Okay, sir. Uh, for the last uh, NEET SS, I prepared for 20 days before the exam, sir. I subscribed to Speed App. I went only through the videos and I could get rank 161, sir. Uh, this time, my preparation actually started in the month of April 2024, sir. I gave any SS in April session. I just qualified, but I was not called for the interview. Then I understood that I have lacunae. I didn't read Berek and Hacker then, uh, ESCO, NCC and guidelines, all of that. For the October session, I did everything, sir. Uh, line to line, word to word. So I was able to give, uh, but I missed by two marks. I got AML 6 and CML 3. So uh, then I started uh, my preparation for NEET SS in Feb, sir. I took a month a break in January, sir, because I was a little upset. Um, entire February, I did reproductive medicine. I gave my FET exam. I got ranked 28. After the exam, I had one month for NEET SS. So I studied, I revised multiple times. I read all the guidelines, ACOG, RCOG. I think I spent around 10 to 12 hours per day, sir. I made my own notes. Uh, I did as many MCQs as I can. So that is what I did, sir. So so you fine-tuned your preparation towards this NEAT 2024 session on Japan on 29th and 30th of March 25. Now, can we know what are the fine-tunings you did? I mean, I mean you had earlier an exam, then after an NESS exam, after an FET exam, I mean, as you have been giving exams, you would have learned through the examination process. This is what they're trying to ask us. Can you tell us something on that? What are they trying to ask you? I mean, so that the students who are watching this video could also have an insight on that. Yes, sir. Uh, with each exam, I understood that uh, I have to have clear concept of every topic I am reading, sir. So whenever I read some immunohistochemistry marker or how the ICG tracer dye is going, if you just read them, you'll understand that, oh, this procedure must, must have been done like this. But I used to always go back to the video and see how it is done, how the lymph, lymph nodes are picked up. Uh, so that gave me more understanding of the concepts. Sir. Second thing, uh, what I understood is, uh, initially I felt many people told that NEATSS was more based on memory based. But this time I felt it was conceptual. Uh, sec uh, and thirdly, I would say you have to prepare the whole syllabus and attend the exam because you don't know what that uh, uh, examiner is trying to question you and attend as many as questions as possible is I would suggest sir 
can you break this paper into what is the percentage of questions that are asked in reproductive medicine? What is the percentage of question asked in oncology? What is the question asked in general OBG? I mean, all our original OBG, or you could see the segregation. All this was a standard of only a PGX standard. Or they did they ask you standard a little more to a superficiality level in reproductive medicine and gynecology? oncology? Can you share something on that? Yes, sir. Sir, actually, the last need assess I gave, it was not much, not, not through major preparation. So I cannot relate the, how this paper was to, to when compared to the last need assess. But this paper, I imagine that it would be 50-50-50 equal division. But it was not like that, sir. The first 50 were directly from the gynae onco. Uh, the next 50 were a mix of uh, OBS and gynae. And the last 50, I don't know, sir, exactly. It's, it's a mix of everything. But general ops, I feel there were hardly any questions, sir. Hardly 10. And reproductive medicine, hardly 10. That's it, sir. So I feel majority is from Onco. Okay. So of the 150 paper, I mean, you felt a lot of questions were asked from Gaina Conco. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And apart from the Gaina Conco, there are almost around 10 questions or 15 questions for reproductive medicine. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then rest of the paper or general OBG? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, General PG, maybe we can tell 30 questions, sir, 30 to 40. Okay. 30 to 40. Yes, sir. So, I mean, what students want to know is, I mean, can it just be only on the standard of only general OBG? With that, will I be able to manage this exam? No, sir. 100% not. Okay. You need guidance. You need to read all the guidelines, word to word, line to line. Uh, you should be updated because there's a lot of competition, sir. You will miss the uh, rank by even 0.3 marks or 0.5 marks or one mark. You have to be thorough with the textbook, standard textbooks, all the notes that the speed offers or, you know, the notes you make and the MCQs, everything. Sir. So it is not possible just to be only with the PG standard, not possible? No, sir. You need to have a little higher standard than that? Yes, sir. Okay. Doctor, I mean, how many GTs you have given for your practice uh, close to the exam? Close to the exam, uh, no, sir, I haven't given. Uh, but prior to totally. that, overall, I have given, sir. I think I have uh, given all almost all exams in the speed app. Okay, fine. Now, actually, number of questions you answered in the real exam? 150, sir. Why 150? Because I tried to play safe during my NESS and FET. It did not work out for me, sir. I always used to leave eight questions or 10 questions. But this time I thought that I am going with full preparation. So why shouldn't why should I leave some question? If I don't know, then majority will not know it. So I didn't want to take a chance, sir. So you want to utilize the full paper? Yes, sir. Great. Now, what will be your message for the students who are aspiring for MCH OBG group? For okay. gynec oncology, in, in for that gynec oncology or for the, those who want to do reproductive medicine, whatever it might be, what should they carry home? What is the message that you want to give to them? That you have to stick to your plan, be focused, stay focused, don't be distracted by anything. Uh, even if you, you make a plan of your own, your schedule of your own, according to the speed or the pattern you study, even if you're lagging by 10 days, 20 days, just don't feel bad or sad. Just keep studying and revising things. Revision, revision, revision is what I would say, sir. Great. Now, time to thank and you can... Take this platform and opportunity to thank whom all you want to. They helped you to build your career and made your career what you're today. Sir, firstly, I would like to thank my family, my father, my mother and my sister. They were extremely supportive throughout the journey because I was giving exams. I was not getting through. Uh, at every step, they were very encouraging and they gave me my time and space. Uh, and I would I want to thank my friends who were, who, were, who supported me throughout the journey. And uh, special thanks to the speed team uh, whenever I had any issue with the MCQ or something, they would always respond to me. And special thanks to Revati ma'am. I used to send all the MCQs to her to answer and literally I sometimes felt that I have troubled her. Her classes were smooth as butter, sir. So I th thoroughly enjoyed her classes and I think her classes gave me so much interest to study further. So uh, a special thanks to Revati ma'am, sir. Great, doctor. We Once again, we wish you all the very best and all the success for a great career ahead in MCH Gynec Oncology of your dream specialty of your choice. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you.